Hello everyone, welcome. A uh, quick thing before we get started. Uh, this is my main channel. Most of my videos go up on here, but if you want to see what I'm doing in my regular life, you can head on over to my second channel, currently called Kaylee, thinking of changing the name pretty soon, don't know what, but that's where I post vlogs and just daily stuff. So if you want to check it out, head over there. All right. As many of you know, I go to art school, and I've decided, just because I've decided to sell my soul to attend art college, doesn't mean you have to. So welcome to my new series, Fine Art for Dummies, or FAFT. Art is hard, I understand. I mean, I still struggle with abstract and cubism, which are two uh, subcategories of art. So, we'll eventually cover those. Uh, sorry for the misleading title. We will be discussing anime today, but it's more about animation in general. Okay, let's start with the basics. What is animation? Well, animation is not the art of making drawings move. Instead, it's the art of drawing movement. Let's take it a step further. Is animation considered art? Short answer, yes. Now, is animation considered fine art? Animation falls under the category of film, which is considered a fine art, so yes. In my college, a degree in animation falls under the BFA category, aka the Bachelor's of Fine Art category. Okay, now we know about animation. What about cartoons and anime? Technically, yes, they are. Shocker, yeah? So, what does technically mean in this situation? Well, a lot of artists in the fine arts consider their art to be high art. What they mean is, they believe their art takes higher skill levels than comics or cartoons. Cartoons are considered low art to these people, because a lot of people start out with cartoons, so it's seen as entry-level and an easy form of art. So, in short, cartoons and anime are fine art. But people are pretentious. Okay, Kaylee, so if anime is technically fine art, why won't my art teacher let me draw anime? So, simply put, these teachers want you to learn the fundamentals of art first. Not saying that I agree with this or disagree with this. Some of these teachers understand that anime is a form of art, but they want you to learn how to make other types of art first. Uh, it also depends on how much of an ass your teacher is. My professors are well versed in the art world and you can get in with turning in cartoons or anime-styled works. As long as they meet the criteria for the assignment and display the techniques required of you. Uh, here I'll insert my recent animation projects. I'd say, depending on your teacher, leave the anime for outside of class time so you don't piss them off that much but continue to pursue it and incorporate the techniques you've learned in your classes to help improve your art. I know this was a quick video, but I think this is where I'm gonna end things today. I'm definitely not a professional. I'm just working off of my own experiences and from asking professors. If you have any art questions you'd like answered or you have art that you've made yourself you would like me to roast, or just give regular critique, please specify which one. Uh, leave them in the comments below or tag me on Instagram and I'll try to answer them in my next FAFT video. Please leave a like if this was helpful and subscribe. All right, you can find my Instagram down below so you can tag me in your art. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later.